This is the granite film installation video. Uh, first step, peel back a couple inches of the film from the backing paper and cut the packing off. Uh, so that will leave you a couple inches of exposed adhesive so you can start your installation. Uh, so this is basically what's going to get installed as your starting point. So squeegee that, that edge down, uh, make sure uh, your film is lined up and it's all straight, uh, no stress in the film and just gently squeegee it down. As you can see I'm leaving about half an inch that will go over the toe kick. So once, once I get the toe kick installed it's going to be underneath the toe kick film. So basically I'm overlapping it. Next step is um, roll your film into a pretty tight roll so you can you can get to the backing paper so basically you have to peel back the backing paper um, so here you go I got the packing paper exposed so I'm peeling it gently back I'm working with about five foot roll here so I'm using a weight bar uh, just to keep the weight evenly down when I'm peeling back the backing so right now I'm about five to six inches um, away from the um, toe kick so I'm gently working myself out as you can see I'm pulling the backing paper and at the same time I'm, I'm uh, very gently pressing on the squeegee and and pushing all the air out that's under the film see I'm working myself towards the edge I'm pulling the backing paper and I'm working the film to the countertop surface um, with no pressure at all, I'm just gently pressing it down and, and, and taking the air um, out of the film. All right, now I'm ready to the edge. So basically, I'm cutting off the, the leftover. Um, film so I can just finish up that edge. Um, there's about six seven inches that's left over. I'm going to use that as a toe kick. So the toe kick doesn't really need to match up with your countertop surface film. You can't tell the difference. I mean it, it all gonna it's all gonna blend in pretty well. As you can see the film is down pretty close to the surface. I mean I got some air bubbles under there but those are coming out really easily. So basically I'm taking a, a squeegee again with the light pressure I'm just going over these air pockets and kind of working them them out of the film. Um, this film has built in air channels um, so it's it's pretty effortless to get the air out of the film. All right, next step I'm going to work on this edge. I'm going to cut this film parallel to the opposite edge and um, I'm pulling down the film just to just to stretch it just a little bit. Um, and then with my hands I'm kind of pulling it down and pushing the air um, out. Um, the edges are pretty easy to do. Um, there is there is nothing, not a whole lot of effort there. Once I'm done with edges, I'm using metal ruler um, as my guide to cut a straight line with the razor. I'm gently pushing down on that razor. Don't push too hard, otherwise you'll cut into the laminate. All right, I'm done with this piece. Um, looks good. Got the sink cut out. Um, I'm ready to ready to put down another piece right next to it. With this roll I'm doing the same thing here, peeling back a couple inches, cutting the backing paper off so I can I can um, put down my starting edge and, and go from there. As you can see this piece is a little bit bigger so I have to make an L shape into that corner so I'm basically cutting, cutting it off. Um, a little bit just make sure you have enough so you can wrap around that little edge and the same thing you start peeling the backing paper out 
um, and and kind of work yourself towards the edge. As you can see, I'm pulling the backing paper out and I made a little tear into the backing paper. So the area that goes over the sink, I'm not peeling the backing off so I can save it um, for smaller areas wherever I need it so I don't waste the material. Uh, and the same thing you're doing here is you're squeegeeing the air out and coming towards the edge. Um, make sure you get all the air out, make sure, make sure there's not a whole lot of tension in the film so you, you can't pull from one corner too far out. Uh, you just kind of work from, from side to side and, and come inch by inch towards the edge. All right, so we made it all the way to the edge. I'm cutting the packing paper off. And in here, I'm having a little bit of hard time with this corner. Um, it doesn't want to go down flat, so I'm using a blow dryer. Uh, blowing a little bit of hot air on it would really help to stretch the film and, and make a make a smooth uh, surface. Here, I'm working uh, around the sink. Um, got that area done, and so basically pulling down the edge again. Um, like I said, edges are pretty easy to do. There is nothing to it. Just work with your hands and, and kind of push that air out. That's all you pretty much need to do. Once I'm done with my edge, I'm going to cut the um, film off because it's pretty bad. The particle board is pretty bad under the sink. I can't really wrap underneath, so that's why I'm cutting it straight down. Uh, now I'm cutting out the sink and uh, this area is done. Next step, I'm working with the toe kick. Uh, toe kicks are really easy to do uh, if it's a two-part countertop. Um, so only only tip in here is is basically push that backing paper down um, towards the countertop uh, so you you will not leave a gap there and if, if you make um, if it starts kind of going higher on you if the, or if the surface is not totally flat then you can easily cut it and, and start from the same spot um, it, it, it's not hard to do so basically just push the backing paper with your left hand and 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 push the squeegee down with your right and kind of work yourself um, out like this and there is another view what I'm doing I'm kind of pulling this paper and I'm holding the paper down towards the countertop surface so it will not leave a gap there all right then we're done with the install uh, everything is done, the toe kick is done, edges are done, looks pretty good so it, it doesn't hurt to double check if all the air pockets are out and kind of squeegee it gently over. Alright next step is the base coat. Um, stir it up, don't shake the canister, just mix it with the stick and stir it well um, and then just pour yourself a little line on a countertop surface and use a, use a foam roller um, and just put it down. You put it down very thin coat. It only goes down um, one thin coat and make sure you cover all the, all the areas. Um, this is very important because your clear coat will destroy the film if this coating is not applied right. This coat should start drying um, in about 30 minutes after you put it down and it will turn to surface matte. Um, your film is glossy uh, and, and this coating is matte so you will, you will see right away if you miss the spot, that spot would still stay glossy. Uh, if it's not matte you have to put more, uh, more of the base coat on it. So again, make sure all the areas throughout the surface everywhere is covered edges corners toe kicks everything push down the roller um pretty good um again the, the the film needs a very thin coat on top so um push it down and and make sure you don't leave um overlapping lines from the roller uh, those will show but other than that it lays pretty flat so you should not have any kind of issues with it
take a little foam brush and, and use it in the corners and edges where the roller can't reach. And now the countertop is done. It's ready for clear coat. Um, looks good. Make sure it's matte throughout so there is no shiny spots, which means there is no base coat. Um, and if you have something stuck in the base coat, you can remove it with your fingernail or, or use a, um, like a sanding pad very gently sand over that spot.